I'm Granny Mahara. Buzz on Boom, we're needed. It's the Buzz on Boom! I'm super excited to announce our special guest today. Joining us on Buzz and Boom is Mythbusters Grant and Mahara. Hi, thanks so for having cool me, cool to have you here. This is awesome. All right, now for the very few of you who might not know, Grant is a robotics expert who's part of a five-person team who busts myths wide open on the Discovery Channel show Mythbusters. Like our previous guest, Vaughn Davis, he's also an alum of Industrial Light and Magic. He's one of the very few people with the privilege of operating an R2-D2. Yeah, at the time, there were only two other official R2 operators in the world. Grant, just between you and me, and everybody watching, are you a super spy? I mean, you, you've kind of done a lot of super spy things, like you've been swimming with sharks, you've hung airborne from a helicopter, you've chopped a car in half with a rocket sled. You mean robotics and tech gadgets are kind of your specialty. Yeah. Uh I suppose you could say that working on Mythbusters is kind of like spy training. I mean, you know, we hang glide, we jump out of planes. Actually, what you could say is it might also be training to be a supervillain. Uh-oh. Right? Because you could do killer robots, explosives. Oh, no. That could be, yeah. All right, guys. Well, you heard it here first. <laughs> he might be a supervillain. <laughs> Well, okay, well, super spy or super villain, you might be interested in this new series we've got coming out. This week, guys, we have a new limited series for Steed and Mrs. Peel, the original Avengers, who are a cornerstone of modern spy fiction. This new series is going to be called Steed and Mrs. Peel, We're Needed. Helping us out with over 50 years of legacy is Hinterkind's Ian Edgington, who is our first English writer for the show. Very cool. Pretty cool. Now, what exactly do you know about the original Avengers TV show? Actually, I grew up watching reruns of it. John Steed had mm -hmm. the bowler hat and the umbrella, right? And that's all he needed. <laughs> that's, that's all, which, how, how much of a badass do you have to be? You have to be pretty fierce. To, to just have a bowler hat and umbrella and defeat bad guys. You said you're not a spy. Look at you. I think he can rock it, guys. Yeah. It's a pretty good look. Yeah. I, I don't so. have a cat suit. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> now, what would you say is the most important spy gadget that someone needs? The, the most important tool a spy can have is their wits and their intuition. I mean, gadgets come and go. Mm -hmm. Although, I think having a cool car, that would be the number one That's gadget. A cool car. And then cat suit. And then cat suit. That's right. And then your wits. Yeah. And then maybe bowler hat and umbrella yeah, somewhere I mean, on that list. You gotta have the look. And that's John Steed and Mrs. Peel are pretty much the most stylish, fashionable spies out there, I have oh, yeah. to say. Absolutely. Nice. Well, thank you so much for coming out, Grant. It's been awesome. Thanks for having me. Cool. And watch out for Grant, guys. He might be a super villain. Just be careful. And you can follow Grant on Twitter. What's your Twitter handle? Uh, at Grant Imahara. Pretty simple. <laughs> All right, thank you so much for joining us, Grant. Thanks a lot, Steph. Awesome. Also out this week, we have The Amazing World of Gumball, number two. Gumball and Darwin love karate video games, so it just kind of makes sense that they would start taking karate at the mall, right? Except it's hard, and Tobias is better, and then he joins a rival dojo. Uh-oh. And then we have Bravest Warriors number 22, continuing the epic story with new creators Kate Leth and Ian McGinty. Chris has been dragged off to who knows where, and the rest of the Bravest Warriors have got to find him. Except Robo Chris doesn't think that's such a good idea. And then we have the final issue of Midas Flesh number 8. Ladies and gentlemen, the end is nigh. Of the Midas Flesh, that is. Our crew has done everything in their power to stop the universe from ending from the Midas curse, but were their efforts enough? Tune in for this finale that's so crazy, you wouldn't believe us if we spoiled it for you right now. And finally, Peanuts number 20. After Peppermint Patty throws a foul ball off Charlie Brown's head, Lucy decides that there is only one course of action to take. It's time to sue Charlie Brown. Legal Beagle and many more fun adventures can be found in this month's all new adventures of Peanuts. All right, Boom's gonna be in San Diego this week for Comic-Con. Come by and check it out, we're gonna be at booth 2229. And just in case you missed it, click right here to check out what we would pack in our convention survival kit. Guys, we're going to have a ton of amazing creators signing and sketching. We're going to have the entire Boom staff and a whole bunch of these really sweet exclusives. So come on by and check it out. It's a great time to love comics, guys. Go ahead and comment down below and tell us what you're loving. Thanks, and we'll see you really soon. Hey, guys. We're going to be taking a break next week, but we'll be back the following.